Hey, what's up, guys? So today we'll be talking about a concept from physics, um, optics actually, plane mirrors. So you know that plane mirrors form a virtual image and an project image. So today we'll be talking about the minimum height of the mirror that we require to view our complete image. So let me just write that down. The smallest mirror. Required to view your complete image. All right. So let me draw myself. This is me right here. Please excuse my drawing skills. And yeah. Now, just to make it easier to understand, I'm gonna add a cap over here and some shoes. Yeah. So these are my shoes. This is my cap. And my eyes are somewhere here. And let let me draw a mirror. Let, let's assume I'm standing in front of a plain mirror. And this so so basically since since I want I want only the topmost part of the cap and the bottommost part of my shoes to be visible in the mirror. I don't care what, what's there on top of my cap. There may be multiple objects, but I'm only concerned with my cap. So actually I want the topmost ray of light that's coming from my cap to reflect off of the mirror and enter my eyes in such a manner. This is what I need. And similarly I want the bottommost part of my shoes the ray coming from the bottommost part of my shoes to reflect off of the mirror and enter my eyes. This is what I want. Yeah. So, yeah. So let me just expand this part, the top part. I'll be expanding this part here. So let me just label it again. I'm not gonna draw it, I'm just gonna label. It's my cap. Let's say my eyes are somewhere here. Okay. And uh, of course, the mirror. Is, let's say the mirror is somewhere here. Now, as stated earlier, the topmost ray of light must reflect off of the cap and enter my eyes in such a manner. And let me let me let me assume I'm standing straight. I'm standing parallel to the surface of the mirror. So there, we can we can say this is a straight. And let me just extend that because we'll do the same for the shoes right so these are my shoes all right now let's talk about let, let me let me draw the normal at this point of the the point of reflection and let me just extend that normal up to the line segment that joins the cap top of the cap to my eyes and my shoes so we'll talk about trigonometry here congruency um, from the laws of reflection we know that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection and since this is the common side and since both these angles are 90 degrees I can say that this triangle is congruent to this triangle right here and from that I can 
say that the distance from and and let's say that the normal at uh, this point of the mirror intersects this line segment at point A. So I can say that the distance from my cap to point A and from point A to my eyes has to be the same. And if we assume that the distance from my cap to my eyes is h1 and the distance from my eyes to my shoes is small h2 then I can clearly say that the distance from my cap to point A and from point A to my eyes is h1 by 2 each because they're equal so let me just write that down h1 by 2 and h1 by 2 and we can extend the same logic for the shoes as well so let's say that the bottommost ray of light is reflected off of the mirror and it enters my eyes in such a manner and if I draw the normal at this point sorry yeah so if I draw the normal at this point let's say intersects this line segment at some point B and we know that these two angles are right angles and since the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection and this is the common side both these triangles are congruent and since they are congruent the distance from my eyes to point B and from point B to my shoes is the same and since I have assumed that the distance from my eyes to my shoes is h2 I can say that the distance from my eyes to point B has to be h2 by 2 and from point B to my shoes also has to be h2 by 2 now, if we see carefully the minimum height of the mirror we require is this because we don't we don't need we don't need this part actually so this this length <coughs> the length of the mirror that we require is actually the line segment AB so the minimum height is actually equal to AB that is H1 by 2 plus H2 by 2 which is half of H1 plus H2 what is this H1 plus H2 this H1 plus H2 is actually my height so the minimum height of the mirror I require is actually half of my height Now, another important thing that we may have missed out is this. Oh, I'm sorry. We didn't consider the distance of ourselves from the mirror. Let's say it's we are standing at a distance x. We see that this formula that we get right here, this the minimum height of the mirror is independent of the distance from of ourselves from the mirror so what that tells us is let's say x is one centimeter that is we are standing one centimeter away from the mirror or let's say it's 10 meters or one kilometer or even 6400 kilometers the fact is that you will always be able to see your image if the height of the mirror is half of your height and x is any of these values or for that matter any value the only difference is that if you stand say one kilometer or sixty four hundred kilometers away you may not able to you may not be able to see that image but for sure that the the complete image of yourself will be formed 